Welcome back. In this video, we will go through importing proteins from the protein databank, the difference between selection and inclusion, and how to render your structures using the style toolbar and preset options. Make sure you have your Maestro intro project open and your working directory set to your course folder. Let's get started. First, we are going to pull in a protein from the protein databank or PDB. Go to File and then Get PDB. This panel allows you to download structures straight from the PDB with the option of including the diffraction data and the biological unit. Now type 5-I-E-Y and click Download. Feel free to pause this video to navigate to rcsb.org pdb to find some more information about the structure that we are downloading. Another entry has been added to our entry list with the title 5-I-E-Y. When you download a structure from the PDB, a banner will appear in the top of your workspace suggesting that you prepare a protein. Since this topic can be fairly advanced, we will cover it in a later module. For now, you can just close the banner. Coming back to the entry list, let's include entry 1, CDK2 prepared. To include an entry, Click on the circle in the column titled In. When the circle is blue, that means the structure is included. An entry must be included in order to be visible in the workspace. Now click on the title of the entry in row 2 to select it. Though it is highlighted in blue, this entry is not displayed in the workspace. This is because selecting and including are two different things in Maestro. This is a concept that we will reiterate several times in this course. A structure that is included means that it is visualized in the workspace. A structure that is selected is ready to interact with. Remember the previous video taught us that Maestro uses a select first paradigm. Selected items are ready for some sort of change or action. It is possible to select multiple entries while including one, include multiple entries while selecting one, or any combination thereof. Just remember that when you are asked to include an entry, you should make sure that the blue circle is filled. And when you are asked to select an entry, you want to click on the entry name so that it is highlighted. For people who learn best through reading, we've put these definitions of selection and inclusion in the key terms before this video. In the previous video, we went through how to zoom, rotate, translate, and select different features of the residues and ligands in the workspace. We can also adjust the rendering using the style toolbox. First, using quick select, click P, so that we can quickly select all the protein atoms in the workspace. Come up to the top center of the interface where the style toolbox button is. Now you can click on the ball and stick representation. Now all protein atoms are displayed in ball and stick in the workspace. Remember, you need to select first to be able to apply a rendering change. If we double click on an atom and come back to the style toolbox, we can change that to a thick tube representation. Once again, we are selecting the atoms we want to make a change to and then choosing the change we want to make. This eyeball button here in the left will toggle on and off the display of selected atoms. The next button over will display only the selected atoms and hide all the others. This doesn't mean that those atoms were removed from the workspace. They're just no longer visible. We can use the P in Quick Select and the first eyeball to make the protein visible in the workspace once again. We can also do things like add ribbons by selecting the protein, which we have already done, and clicking here to add ribbons. You can change the color and representation of the ribbons. We'll stick with the defaults for now, but later on, we'll show you how to color by the secondary structure and map that onto a protein surface. For now, click in a blank area of the workspace to close the style toolbox. While it is useful to be able to manually change the rendering of various molecules in the workspace, there are also some handy presets that you can use to apply many rendering steps at once. Presets are like rendering recipes for your molecules. Different representation ingredients are added in and mixed to make a nicely rendered structure. 
double click on the presets button and you'll see it changed the ribbon coloring. Zoom in on the ligand, which is now in a ball and stick representation, and label all the residues in the binding site. If you single click on the presets button, you can see the entire collection of preset styles in Maestro. Pause this video and play around with the different presets to find one that you like. Also, you can choose to edit the custom preset if you would like to customize the default preset rendering in a particular way. In this video, we went through downloading structures from the PDB, the difference between selection and inclusion, and how to render your structure. Now you are ready for the next video, where we will go through some visualization tips and tricks and show you how to find the applications for performing various tasks in Maestro. See you soon!